Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So we have another air gun video, but today it's gonna be a comparison video between a CO2 powered air rifle and a spring powered air rifle. So uh, I got this new. These are the boxes. So right off the bat, if you will see the specs, of course, the CO2 will be underpowered at 650 FPS, and the Remington Express is more than twice that but we will see both have uh, 4 by 32 scopes edits we just see the groupings so there's wind oh, now it has died down Three shots. Same scope, four by thirty two. Okay, now the frying pan. You have to shoot it with the CO2. Shoot it with the frying pan. No edits. Okay, let's look, no edits. CO2 Not the size uh, Brake barrel Look at the size But I hit the bullseye Okay So Not too much of a difference Let's see the penetration test 
Uhum. Um, CO2. Bra uh, brake barrel. Let's look at the back. Brake barrel. And, yep. This is from the CO2. Has a bigger punch. So what is the verdict? Size of a coin, uh, the groupings, it's not that uh, different. Okay, so what's the verdict? Um, these manufacturers are not paying me to do this. So I'm just sharing with you my personal experience. So it's up to you, but I have both. I, have, I also have some PCPs and um, Oh, um, the CO2 gun uh, can produce really tight grouping, especially if it's fully charged. Or and then the problem is later on, you know, uh, when you lose uh, CO2, you lose power and accuracy. But with the brake barrel, since it's uh, shooting more than twice the CO2, it stays flat. Okay, especially in short distances and uh, it just depends on your hold okay it depends on the shooter and then oh your hold it means it means how you hold the gun you use the artillery 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 hold okay so that's it for now thanks for watching guys